The first two pieces are joined with a simple miter corner and a spline to add some strength. And the third piece has the same dimensions and I ran it over the table saw a few times to create this profile. And the height of the blade on the table saw is the same for every cut, which is half the dimension. So this is one and a quarter inch and the blade was set five eighths of an inch high. Then I'll cut similar slots into this piece and that'll slide down. So there's the shape to cut out and that'll be a cut this way and a cut this way. And both of them will be one and one quarter inch, which is the dimension of this piece. You can make these cuts with a crosscut sled or with a tenoning jig, which is what I'm using. You can speed things up with a dado blade. So there we are cut out and you can see that you got long grain against long grain here. So that'll be strong as well as here, here and here. So four surfaces. And this distance here was chosen to be the same thickness as quarter inch plywood. And then what I'll do is cut a rabbit into this piece so that it's supported on all four sides. With that rabbit cut on the table saw with the same blade, then there's a nice recess all around for the panel. And here it is all glued up. And that forms the skeleton of a dust box for the router with uh, recesses in all the sides that will receive the quarter inch plywood panels.